personal disease all kind of stuff from Sadanam Kamal College Patipala okay let the story begin this is a story about an infamous pop singer Noor Mazlan Ismail aka Mona Fante she was born on 1956 January 15th on vill- on a village called Kanka at Malaysia she was married to a man uh, named Muhammad Afandi Abdul Rahman her dreams to become a pop singer because she wants to become a celebrity to gain name and fame so she always kept trying for it her husband Abdul Rahman promised to her to to get her dreams come true after a while she released a music album named Diana but it was a flop so she gave up her dreams and wishes she was because she was unable to bear her failure from that moment she explored other way to gain money name and fame so she chooses to do black magic her clients were her clients were upper caste and politicians she was paid more for her services with all the money she led a lavish life One day a person named Mazran Idris came to visit Mona Fande. Mazran Idris is a rising politician and a state assembly man in Malaysia. Mazran Idris believed Mona Fande was the key to making his political career so Mona convinced Mazran that she had mystical powers to fulfill his request. She offered Mazran three mystical items. a staff a song cook and a talisman in exchange of 2.5 million ringgit the mystical items were believed to be owned by indonesian president sukarno mona fandi said that anyone in the possession of the artifact would become invincible mazlan paid half a million dollars and surrendered several land bills as a promise not for the remaining payment on that fateful fateful day mona fanda arranged for mazlan to visit her home to conduct a cleansing ritual mona fanda her husband and his assistant joyner said had mazlan lie down with his eyes closed and mona fanda placed a flower on his body then without a warning jeremy hasan swung an axe to his neck, Mazlan's neck, severing his head, the skin and mutilated his body into 18 pieces and buried at the storeroom nearby. They decided not to speak out this crime. A few days after the murder, Jeremy Hassan was apprehended for an for a drug offense high end on drugs he blurted out to the police that he had been involved in Mazlan's death and he led them to the store room where they hid his body shortly after mona and her husband were arrested mona her husband and jeremy appeared before the court the high court convicted them to murder and sentenced to them sending to the all three to death by hanging through all mona remained smiling and unfazed after hearing the verdict through it she was heard to have said i'm happy and i want to thank to all the malaysian citizen mona was photographed smiling as she was escorted to prison finally mona found they had achieved her dream of becoming famous after all and on november 2nd mona fande was executed and her last words were i will never die i will come back mona fande tried to hide the truth to the world but no one can hide the truth everyone who was wrong who does wrong will have to to face justice in time and i have to add this too this 
is a real story. This is happened in Malaysia. There's a film based on this film called The Duke and you can watch it on the browser or by downloading it.